from my heart and from my hand Why don't people understand my intention? Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel So, today's topic is actually heating and electric vehicles and how to generate heat when you have no heat source like a combustion engine Now obviously the minis, as we all know, use circulated hot water uh, from the engine into a radiator into the cabin that allows you to generate some heat and also demist your windscreens uh, But we don't have that luxury when we are working only with batteries But before we get into that topic guys, I just want to share with you an update on the shell Because by the time you see this video, it will already be at the paint shop uh, But I just wanted to share with you some uh, things we discovered when we took off some of the panels you can see here we've got E primer coat, the black one underneath with no paint on it at all. Now, we know that Mini were never generous with paint, but I believe this is actually an aftermarket panel. So it looks like the, uh, the car at some point in its life has had a restoration, which would probably explain why it's in such, uh, such good condition. But anyway, I'm not too concerned because it looks like the work that's been carried out is uh, pretty good. So, uh, yeah. It's going to be a couple of months before we see this again and uh, we'll get back to the other topic at hand. So the electric drivetrain that we've gone with is actually a passive system which means there's no water cooling or generated heat from the system itself. So that means we have to pay attention to meeting the regulations for demisting the windscreen and creating some heat inside the cabin just for our own personal comfort. Um, so I've been looking at the camper van community because obviously they have a range of solutions for vehicles when they're stationary uh, that don't require the engine to be running. Now there's diesel, petrol, solar, propane, you name it. There's all sorts of solutions these days, but obviously three of those I don't really want to use because we're trying to get away from fossil fuels. So I've been looking only at 12 volt systems and the capacities that they can create uh, to add some warmth uh, to the cabin but honestly the first priority is to make sure that we meet the regulations for demist in the windscreen so I, I found a really compact system that I just want to show you now okay so basically guys what I found is this uh, rather small ceramic heater box uh, it's got two vents on the bottom that's sucking air in from the car and blows out through the top and it actually has a front mounted uh, switch. Now as you can see I've got it hooked up to a rudimentary 12 volt uh, battery circuit uh, but it'll at least give you some idea. Noise wise, I don't know if you can hear this on the microphone but it's actually quieter than the original mini one uh, that was fitted into the car so uh, this looks like it's got quite some potential. One of the nice things about this box is that you can actually mount two side by side. So what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to run one box for the two central windscreen vents and I can have a separate box running the two external vents into the cabin. And as far as the heat is concerned, the amount of heat that it's putting out is, it's okay. I mean, so let's do this a little bit more scientifically. Um, the ambient temperature in this workshop because I have no heating is always seven degrees um, so we need to take an initial reading we'll use the dashboard surface to do that so the surface temperature of the dashboard at the moment is 15 degrees and if we turn on the heater let's take an initial reading within a few seconds it's already climbing into the 20s take another reading now we're moving up into the 30s then another reading we are mid 45s and you notice there's an air gap between the actual thermometer and the air tubes themselves because obviously if you point it directly inside you don't get an accurate reading and it seems to be leveling out around about 52 degrees. So I think that'll be fine uh, for demisting the windscreens. 
So yeah, as I mentioned, I really like this unit because it's extremely compact and it's going to allow us to hide it quite nicely uh, underneath the dashboard without being uh, too intrusive on the overall look. And actually, if I wanted to go one step further, I could probably pull the old heater housing using apart from the mini and place this inside. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, you can probably also see uh, that other bits and pieces are arriving for the car now. The leather dash covers have arrived for the dash pads. We've also got the, uh, the brushed aluminium uh, dashboard as well. Um, actually, it wasn't easy to find this one because trying to find one with only two gauge holes and no cutouts for three gauges here, um, a little tricky. Uh, but obviously, on an electric vehicle, I don't need all the gauges. I only need the minimum requirements to meet the test requirements because what we will be doing is we will be fitting a radio with an Apple CarPlay heads-up unit here that will also provide us with some apps for telemetry like uh, you know navigation, uh, GPS and also uh, things like speed or even track times. So yeah things are starting to come together quite nicely for the dashboard. Um, we've also ordered from Wired by Wilson a new switch panel for here because I'm going to change it from the uh, rocker design uh, that was fitted to the car. You know, the plastic ones, they fade and they don't look too good. So I'm going to go for the older style toddle switches. Uh, that should arrive in the next uh, couple of weeks as well. And uh, yeah, we are just starting to clean up the grill that you can probably see on the other side there. I'm going to keep that as is. So we need to cover up the chrome and repaint all the black. So yeah, uh, this is progress so far, as I said to you before in previous videos, uh, I want to try and get as many pieces in-house as early as possible while the car is still at the paint shop. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's it for the moment, guys. Hope you guys stay safe, stay negative, and look forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.